everybody, it's Sven from Crit and Miss, and still the Dungeon Master for Far Beyond the Void. I just wanted to say a huge thank you for tuning in. We take a moment to dive into some of the lore behind Far Beyond the Void and tell you about some of the crazy stuff we have going on behind the scenes. First, I want to talk to you and explain a little bit about the mechanics of a wild space. Depending on how familiar you are with the Spelljammer lore in Dungeons and Dragons, you may or may not already know that wild space systems are like pocket solar systems encased in a hypothetical crystal sphere that floats among the astral sea, home of the gods. Now it might be tempting to think of wild space in much the same way as space that exists in the real world, like an endless airless cold vacuum filled with radiation, but this is pretty far from the truth. The presence of magic in this universe has changed things dramatically from what you might be familiar with in real life. It's better to think of wild space systems as unique biomes filled with life, temperature variations, and even weather events, all driven by the ebb and flow of the arcane tide that penetrates all of creation. Indeed, it's this magical tide that propels not just storm clouds throughout the verse, but also serves as the driving force for spelljammer ships, who use their arcane connection to the spelljamming helm to catch the drifts of this magical energy in their specialized propulsion devices, be they sails like the autumn leaves or otherwise. Although a wild space system may seem barren at first glance, there are many creatures in D&D lore that can exist without air, and on closer examination, you might find that the space between astral bodies is in fact teeming with life, reminiscent of life beneath the oceans of Earth. In Far Beyond the Void, smaller astral bodies such as asteroids and small moons may have limited air supplies and gravitational pull, but still be habitable for conventional life. And indeed, some such locations have become home to entire societies. Sometimes there are cultures who have worked together to stabilize the atmosphere in order to create a more comfortable living environment, much like the inhabited asteroid of Brawl. Now, I want to tell you about some of the things that we have happening behind the DM screen at Crit Miss. We just streamed episode two of Forces of Nature last night, which is our Call of the Netherdeep campaign in which Mark is the DM and features a whole new cast of players and characters. If you enjoy what we do for Far Beyond the Void, then I guarantee you that you'll get a kick out of Forces of Nature as well. For the time being though, the only place to catch those episodes is on Twitch and they are streamed live every Thursday at 7pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. But wait, because that's not all. To celebrate the first year of streaming tabletop RPGs, we are going to be giving away a digital copy of the Dragons of Stormwreck Isles. But to go into the draw for that, you need to catch the live streams on Twitch. You'll accrue platinum points while you watch. The longer you watch, the more points you get. But you can also get more points by following and subscribing. And once you have enough points in the bank, you can then use them to buy tickets by typing exclamation mark enter into the chat. The winner will be announced during episode one of the Witching Hour on the 22nd of February. Make sure you keep your eyes open for the official announcements on Instagram and Facebook. Anyway, thanks for listening and or watching this bonus content for Far Beyond the Void. Don't forget you can catch new episodes weekly on Saturday at 8pm Australian Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. If you haven't already done so, I would be eternally grateful if you could follow, subscribe and leave a rating and review across all the platforms and social medias. Not only do you get all the associated benefits, but it helps other like-minded people find our weird little corner of the internet. Anyways, uh, have a great week. 
keep rolling those natural 20s. And I will see you this weekend for episode 4 of Far Beyond the Void. Thank you.